Hello everyone, my name is Jesse, and welcome back to another Bakugan custom paint. This time, we're talking about Clayf. That's right, um, I finally did it. If you've seen a couple of my other videos, you'll know that I didn't custom paint him because it was really difficult, and it seemed really difficult. And, well, it was really difficult. I have a bunch of pictures that I'll probably be putting up while I'm talking um, about like the process I went through and, and all that, and I'll, I'll kind of talk about it. But, Clayf was a challenge. Um, he was hard, and there's not much getting around the difficulty level of this paint job. Um, and you'll see, just by looking at it, it's not perfect at all. It was very difficult, um, but I do want to get in and talk about it. So without further ado, let's jump in. So I kind of just want to show off the ball first. So as you can see here, um, it's mainly just brown and orange. And um, it's Clay has a lot of like very curly like lines. So it was very hard to get in and actually do that. Like you can see right here, like it's kind of a mess. Um, there was, there's not a lot of avoiding that, at least with my level of like artistic ability. Um, so what I did was, is I took them apart and I'll show pictures of that. So I took them apart and then I also had to take apart um, some metal bits on the hands, like on these arms, which I'll, I'll show in a little bit, to um, spray paint them. So I spray painted them this like warm kind of dark chocolate brown. And then I took some um, really bright orange paint, and I actually used a sewing needle. I stuck a sewing needle in the back of a pencil eraser, and used that as like my my like the pencil as my handle. Then I would dip the needle, the back of the needle, so not the sharp part, but the part you'd stick thread through. And then I used that to actually paint these really really thin lines. So if you're wondering how I managed to get these tiny designs, it was a needle. Um, so yeah, so this is just kind of like what he looks like in ball form, and he kind of does struggle to open. Um, there aren't really any parts that should struggle, but I guess just um, the paint maybe makes it sticky. I'm not really sure, so we might have some difficulty opening him. Um, it, it's kind of random when it happens, but as you can see, I did not paint the feet here, um, specifically just because it doesn't show while he's standing, and I didn't want to make the feet really hard to open. So uh, without further ado, let's open him up to get a better view. All right, guys, so he opened up nice and easy. Um, so this is Clayf. Um, as you can see, he is very similar to the, um, the, the show version. So I'll kind of put him off to the side here and put up a, a picture here of the show version to see, just to show you guys what I based it off of, how I got the paint job design and everything. And uh, yeah, so that's him. And as you can see, um, like down here, I had to take out these metal pins, if you can see right there. So they're kind of still sticking out because I didn't want to damage them and they're, they're doing their job, so I'm not going to touch them. Um, but the inside of like his hands here are painted, if you can kind of see in there. It's kind of hard on camera, but inside's painted dark brown there. And uh, yeah, this, his head was repainted and his head's got a little bit of some like touch-ups that I feel like I sh still need to do, but... I mean, from a distance, he looks he looks pretty great. Honestly, I'm not I'm not too uh, too like picky about it or not going to complain too much. Um, he just looks super cool. I'm super happy that I finally did this, even though it was incredibly difficult. Um, I kept the G power here, 700 Gs, and uh, yeah. So he's not as like like the paint job is definitely not perfect, but it's it's also not like terrible. I had to go over these designs right here on the arms a lot um, touching it up with the brown paint and then the orange paint over and over again so it kind of looks a little rough but I mean I was working with a sewing needle and spray paint and then some like orange paint from a pen I had from one of my like acrylic paint pens for the orange so um, not gonna complain too much also I forgot to mention this but the card we're using today is Clayf um, I, mean, I was just excited I was getting ahead of myself you guys know how it goes um, so yeah, and then I kept the Subterra symbol here, even though it's like <laughs> really messed up. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't say it's my, my best paint job, but he does look really cool, especially when I put him with all the other ones, because I've custom painted all the Warrior Bakugan. Um, so let's go ahead and like, get them all out so we can just see them all together, because I think that's really neat. So yeah guys, this is all of them custom painted in, in some way, shape, or form. Um, so I, I just think it's super neat to say that I have like a group of Bakugan like this that are custom painted, like all the Warrior Bakugan. So I'm pretty proud of that, I, I think it's, it's really cool. And um, I also have had someone ask me to do a, another slow-mo video. Um, so it'll probably be the last slow-mo video because like I don't have 
many more Bakugan to drop in slow-mo, but I'll probably do a slow-mo video of these guys and then a couple like additional ones um, and then just uh, kind of see how they open because I think it'll be cool. It'll probably be a bit more difficult to get the video because some of them don't like to open, like my large lion is a bit sticky. Um, but I think it'll be a cool video, so look forward to that. It'll be coming up, it'll probably be probably be Sunday, so this video will be up on Thursday, June 17th, I believe, and then the next one will probably be up that following Sunday, uh, so look out for that. But if you're watching this in the future, just disregard that whole thing. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed looking at Clayf. Um, pretty cool Bakugan, honestly, pretty proud of the paint job. Glad I finally like, got the nerve to do it. And yeah, feel free to ask me questions down in the comments below. My name's Jesse. Peace out.